Hermione and Ron are already at my death day party. Come on, Harry, you don't want to be late. Yes, I'll see you in the dungeons. Be quick. You don't want to miss the celebrations. Come to try the Petrificus Totalus spell again? You should do better this time. Would you like to make improvements to your current grade? Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times and you will learn Petri... Are you ready? You burned the parcel... Would you like to try again, Harry? Watch my ex... Do this three... Are you ready? Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. Splendid! Perfection! That's the easy one. Perfection! Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. Perfection! One more to go. Get ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. You've earned a grade A. Congratulations! You've earned the Defense Against the Dark Arts Lesson Cup for your hard work. Well done! You have now won all the House Cups and Shields. A Founder Famous Witches and Wizards card is now waiting for you in your common room. That's all there is to it, Potter. Well done! Wattle bird. Godric Gryffindor. <sighs> Harry Potter. Feel Jacinda Door. Yard Adol Cassap Bird. Hank Gaspodge. Godric Gryffindor. Hogwarts co founder. Gave his name to a Hogwarts house. Have you heard about the secret founder jewels yet? Behind us is a statue. You can use it to find the entrances to the secret founder jewels. Defeat each founder house duelist to win a Hogwarts founder famous witches and wizards card. Collect them all and you can enter the special founder's tower. No one we know has ever managed to beat all the founder duelists and enter the founder's tower. We'd really like to know what's inside. That's where you come in, Harry. We think you have the potential to defeat every duelist and win all the Founder's Wizards cards. To open up each of the duels, you have to have a certain number of Famous Witches and Wizards cards. Everyone knows that finding Famous Witches and Wizards cards can be very difficult. So, we're willing to sell you five of them, Harry. It's a good deal. Give us 50 Bertie Bots every flavour beans, and we'll give you a Famous Witches and Wizards card in return. Brilliant! You have 50 every flavour beans! 
Have a famous Witches and Wizards card. Ignatia Wildsmith. Godric Grick, Gaspar, Hengist, Bertie Bob, Cassandra, Adalbert Wop, Yardley, Dorcas, w Jacinda Sight, Felix, Ignatia Wildsmith, the witch who invented flu powder. Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Greta Catchlove. Ignatia, Felix, Greta Catchlove, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Have a fa- Chauncey Aldridge. Greta, Jason, Dork, Yardley, Adalbert, Chauncey Aldridge. First known victim of dragon pox. Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Have a famous witches and witch. Herpo the Fowl. Chauncey Old, Cassandra, Bertie, Herpo the Fowl. First known creator of the Basilisk. Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Have a famous Witches and Wizards card. Paracelsus. Herpo the Hengist of Paracelsus. Greatest of all medieval alchemists. Come on, Harry, you don't want to be late. At my party, there's maggoty haggis, furry green cheese, and a tombstone cake. Delicious, eh? This way, Harry. Wasn't that nearly headless, Nick? The Gryffindor house ghost? Yes, Colin, it was! It's brilliant here, isn't it? Special death day speech prepared. This way, Harry. I really do think that this will be a death day to remember. This way, Harry. He can't get across. Oh, what a baby. He's all at a loss. The dungeon is a nasty place, but you're fit in with that ugly fat. <laughs> Can't find your pals, Potty. Don't cry.
<laughs> Can't find your pals, Potty. Don't cry. <laughs> Poor old Potty. Can't find his way to the party. <laughs> Harry, where have you been? We've been waiting ages for you. Let's go, Harry. you can make it, Harry. May I recommend the mouldy bread and the stinking salmon? Watch out for Peeves, Harry. He's in one of his mischievous moods. Feel free to mingle, Harry. Ron and Hermione are around here somewhere. Happy Death Day, Nick. I think Ron has a present for you. I'll go and tell him to bring it over. Use your knockback jinx to get the prison back.
Guards, give Ron back his present. The voice was growing fainter, and Harry was sure it was moving away, moving upwards. He began to run, his stomach lurching. Something was shining on the wall ahead. Harry approached slowly, squinting through the darkness. Mrs. Norris, Filch's cat, was hanging by her tail from a torch bracket. She was as stiff as a board, her eyes wide and staring. Foot-high words had been daubed on the wall above the petrified cat. Harry shuddered as he read them. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Before Harry could leave, several people appeared in the corridor. When Filch saw Mrs. Norris, he screeched accusingly at Harry. You! You've murdered my cat! You've killed her! <laughs> and then Draco Malfoy shouted out to everyone gathered. Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods! Professor Dumbledore calmed everyone down and sent them all to bed. Ron reckoned that he had an idea who the heir of Slytherin was, and both he and Harry went to meet Hermione in the library. I'm sure that Draco Malfoy is the heir of Slytherin. I think he might be right, and if he is, I know a way we can prove it. Polyjuice Potion! Poly what? Polyjuice Potion can transform a person into someone else, even a Slytherin. We could trick Malfoy into admitting he's the heir. To make the Polyjuice Potion, we'll need several ingredients. Lacewing flies, leeches, fluxweed, knocked grass, horn of bicorn, and shredded boom slang. Okay, I'll get the knocked grass and fluxweed. Harry, you can get the leeches, lacewing flies, and shredded boomslang. And I'll get the horn of bicorn. You two had better get to potions, class. When I find a place to prepare the polyjuice potion, I'll send Hedwig. Silence! Mixing potions is a very precise science. I suggest that Potter, Weasley, and Longbottom listen carefully to my every word. This year, like last year, I won't allow any disobedience. Pay attention, Potter. You are going to remind us how to mix a Wiganweld potion. If you remember, you must first activate the cauldron. With this done, you must then press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better of you. Now remember, when the cauldron is full, you can activate it to gain the Wiganweld potion. Class dismissed. Hello there. I wonder if you boys could do me a favor. Of course, Hagrid. It's nearly Halloween, and my pumpkin patch has been overrun with gnomes. Can you help me to get rid of them? I'll help Hagrid, but I think Ron has some things he needs to do. I do? Like getting some knocked grass and flux weed? Oh yeah, just make sure that you don't forget the boomslang skin, uh, lace wings and leeches. Leeches? Oh, nasty creatures. But if you're after some boomslang skin, I've got some in my hut. Need this stuff for homework, do you? Uh, yes, that's right. Homework? For potions? All right then, Harry. I'll make a deal with you. Get rid of them gnomes in my pumpkin patch, and I'll give you some boomslang skin. Okay, Hagrid. It's a deal.
Let's see if you can get these blasted gnomes out of my pumpkin patch. Do well enough, and I'll give you some boom slang skin. To fling the gnomes, press the square button, which will help you build up speed. The faster you press, the more speed you gain. When you reach the fence, press the triangle button when you're ready to chuck the little pest out of my pumpkin patch. Try and throw the gnomes as far as you can, Harry. You'll get points for distance and extra points for every target you hit. Fantastic! That's your all-time highest score. Well done, Harry. Here, have some boom slang skin. You've earned it. Wasn't that fun, Harry? Do you want to play again? Fantastic! That's your all-time highest score. Edgar Struger. Wasn't that fun? Thanks for saving me pumpkins, Harry. I hope you find a good use for that boom slang skin. Bearded stoats, look at the time. You better run off to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Slytherin's about to start. There you are! Come on, you'll be late for Quidditch! Did you manage to get the fluxweed and not grass? I got some fluxweed, but it wasn't easy. Come on, we better get to the Quidditch pitch before it's too late. Harry P. Ignate Felix Gret Jusup Dork Yab Edgar Struger, inventor of the sneaker scope.
And as we join this important Quidditch game between Slytherin and Gryffindor, it is a tense moment. Slytherin are leading 60 points to nothing on the fastest racing brooms goal can buy. It's down to you, Harry. Catching the snitch is the only way we're going to win. You've got to beat Malfoy. I can't shake this bludger. What's going on? All right there, Scarhead. Someone's tampered with this bludger. There's the golden snitch. Malfoy's on it, and Potter's chasing. There they go after the snitch. It's heading for the stands. Amazing. I've lost sight of them. <laughs> Harry's arm was hanging at a very strange angle, but in his good hand, he held the snitch. Aha! We've won! Lockhart told Harry to lie back as he tried to mend his arm with a charm. A strange and unpleasant sensation started at his shoulder and spread all the way down to his fingertips. His arm didn't hurt anymore, nor did it feel remotely like an arm. Ah, yes. Uh, well, that can sometimes happen. So, Harry, just toddle up to the hospital wing. Madame Pomfrey will be able to, um, tidy you up a bit. The next moment, Dumbledore and McGonagall were backing into the room, carrying what looked like a statue. Together, they heaved it onto a bed. It means that the Chamber of Secrets is indeed open again. Hermione whispered to Harry that it was about time he collected together the ingredients for the Polyjuice Potion. As soon as your arm is better, I think you should go to Diagon Alley. It was half term by the time Harry's arm was better, and following Hermione's advice, he caught the train to London. Harry met Hagrid in Diagon Alley. Go and get your supplies, Harry. I'm going to the pub to meet some old friends. I'll meet you back here in a while. <laughs> 